guys, Mustang GTD for 2025 has been revealed. And this thing is wild. Let's talk about it. Let's dive into it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Some good, some bad. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this new $300,000 limited production Mustang. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about this Mustang. We're in the garage. We just saw the unveiling, the reveal of this $300,000 road course monster. So a lot of guys are going to eat this thing up. It's limited production. Ford has went after the Porsche crowd and the European crowd, the GT3, GT2s, all of those high-end, very expensive, very capable road course cars. But let's talk about it. What's special about this Mustang? What's a little bit different? What makes it worth $300,000? Is this going to be a bargain for what it can do? Well, to kick things off, Ford is aiming for under seven minutes in the Nürburgring. Aiming for the Nürburgring 73 curves in less than seven minutes. A road ready sports car to beat them all. We are making history all over again. Nürburgring is insane. Remember, just a few years ago when the ZL1 Camaro came out and then the ZL1 1LE and they were a little bit over seven minutes. I think the 1LE version was like 716 or 713. I might get that wrong. But anyway, it was something around that time and it was like 70 some thousand dollars. It was pretty cheap. But guys, that was like mind blowing. How could you produce a car that inexpensive and have track times at the Nürburgring that low? That was just demolishing everything like Lamborghinis, Porsches. I mean, the list goes on forever. I mean, it was insane. Now, yes, this thing is a lot more than $70,000. It's $300,000. You're going to have to get approved to even own one, but it is street legal. You're going to be able to get a VIN, you're going to be able to insure it, and you can drive it on the street. It's time for something unexpected, something audacious. In a small workshop, it started as a dream. In the hands of a small team, it became a mission. This isn't progression. It's reinvention to levels unseen. Le Mans winning heritage and an unapologetic American spirit. Under seven minutes. That's insane. So if you've never run a road course track, then it's um, it's a game changer. If you're in the right car, it will ruin drag racing, period, dot. It is absolutely insane. The most intense roller coaster ride of your life in a fast car if you've done it. Under seven minutes. Let's just talk about that. Before we get into the car, let's just talk about a little bit more about seven minutes. So one of my good friends, Serpent Stangs, he's an avid grid life racer with his GT500, GT350R. They are very far from stock and he is uh, out there placing records. Bring him up because he schooled me in a little bit of like, what does it take to shave off a second or two off of your lap time? And it takes a tremendous amount. And that is what we are seeing with this new Porsche killer. Carbon fiber shell, we don't don't know the weight yet carbon ceramic brakes it's not a mid-engine we got fooled for about a day or two but it's got the transmission over the rear axle to give it a 50 50 split 800 supercharged horsepower titanium active exhaust available lots of cool things on this car the list goes on and on it's got coilover suspension and this car is absolutely done up you wouldn't have to touch a thing i wouldn't imagine now there's a couple things that i don't like about it now there's a ton of arrow but it's a bit extreme for my particular taste. The rear wing is interesting, kind of hangs off the back. It's uh, interesting, but it does serve its purpose. Now, if you've been around some of these other Porsches and with their interesting looking wings, they look a little gaudy too, but they function. They function and it is there for a reason. Now, let's put the camera down so I can just talk freely. All right, this thing has still got an engine under the front of the car, under the hood. Okay, 800 horsepower supercharged. It's got a 7,500 RPM rev limit. Um, it's got an eight speed dual clutch transmission over the rear axle. So that's going to give it that 50 50 even weight distribution, which is going to be ideal for the track. This thing is going to dominate. Okay. 
Okay, uh, lots of arrow everywhere. This thing has just been wind tunnel tested to death. You can you can check out the videos that Ford has released. I mean, they've done extensive research on this, and for three hundred thousand dollars, and and then aiming for under seven minutes on the Nurburgring, guys. There has been a lot of attention to detail on this car, but it doesn't look bad. But um, you know, for three hundred thousand dollars, that's uh, it's interesting. You know, um, if yeah, I would buy one. I would, yeah, I would probably buy one. Under seven minutes on the Nurburgring, guys. That's insane. Those of you track rats out there, and I don't mean to, I don't want, I don't say that to be derogatory. That's a good thing. You know, you know under seven minutes is absolutely mind-blowing especially for three hundred thousand dollars it usually takes a lot more to get there i mean it honestly does when you're trying to save a second or two off of a lap time it can take a whole lot lots of aero lots of suspension and more power <laughs> And of course, driver mod as well. Lots of training, lots of seat time, so on and so forth. But for a car to be able to get under seven minutes is absolutely mind blowing. Um, that's that's crazy, guys. Crazy. That's Nurburgring is like one of the most interesting tracks out there. Very hard to drive, fast. It's very competitive, and you've got to have a rocket ship to go out there and do anything really under seven and a half minutes. So to get under seven minutes, that's just uh, just silly. Silly, silly, silly. So supercar power and Mustang soul. This is the Mustang GTD. A legacy yet to be written. Really cool to see. I know I'm rambling here a little bit, but it's this is the reveal, guys. This is the continuation of Ford in the direction that they've chosen to go with. And it's really cool to see that an American company like this, Ford, is going after the big leagues. And they're going after these very, very expensive cars. Really cool to see this. I'm very happy with the brand. You know, we have everything from the EcoBoost Mustang all the way up to GT500. Now we've got the S650s coming out. You got the Dark Horse, Dark Horse R. We definitely need to talk about the Mach-E. Yes, they're calling it a Mustang. So like I said, I think Ford's trying to segregate the brands a little bit. They're gonna have a different Mustang variants in their lineup. And this is kind of show and tell to that, to what may be coming maybe more in the future. Still, one thing that I wish that Ford would do is give us a naturally aspirated, high horsepower, dual clutch transmission car and make it affordable. I make it affordable. I thought that the, the S550 Mach 1 was going to be it. I thought that the Dark Horse was going to be it. Nope. They're still sticking to that 10-speed automatic. Give us a naturally aspirated, big horsepower, dual clutch transmission Mustang Coupe. Guys, I will buy that thing. Ford, I will buy it. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, yeah. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to the cosmetics a little bit. Really, who cares, I guess. But, I mean, you should if you're spending that amount of money. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. But the biggest thing is the performance. Guys, again, 800 horsepower, supercharged, titanium exhaust, carbon fiber shell and components. You've got carbon ceramic brakes, lightweight wheels. The list goes on and on. I wish that we knew the full weight of the vehicle. I would bet it's around 3,000 pounds, maybe less. I don't know, but um, definitely going to be lightweight. Got some amazing suspension under this car. Coilovers all around. It's got the transmission, eight-speed dual clutch over the rear axle to give us the 50-50 weight distribution with the engine in the front. Lots of cooling you can see all over the car. You got a big wing there for a reason. I can't wait to see the interior of this thing. I don't know if it's going to have a roll cage in it or not. I would imagine maybe. Maybe it's a, a, an available option for the guys that actually want to go out there and try to run the Nürburgring or some of these other tracks around the United States or abroad uh, out in Europe somewhere um, and really try to beat up on some other supercars. So is this, that's going to lead us, I guess, to the conclusion of this video. Is this a supercar? Can you call it a supercar? Supercar power and Mustang soul. I think the answer is yes. If they think that this car is capable of the track times that they're talking about going after, then yeah, it's supercar all freaking day. So it's not a mid-engine. We got fooled on that for about a day or two. Maybe we'll see that in the future. Maybe eventually we'll see like an all-wheel drive variant, you know, and those other things to come. But 
very excited for the Mustang GTD. Let me know your comments down below. Let's have a discussion. Let's keep it going. Guys, subscribe for more content. Like always, we're going to dive deep into this Mustang GTD and see what it's all about. And I know some people near me that may be able to get one of these things. And so can we potentially get some seat time and some track time and take you along with us for the ride? You bet your butt that might be a real possibility. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell down below so you don't miss upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. God bless. I'll see you later. Bye.